Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Today we are going to learn how to set up webhook inside Instamojo. So as we all know, Instamojo is an amazing payment gateway application used for managing payments. So I am going to show you how you can very easily connect Instamojo with Pabli Connect with the help of webhook. So webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications when a specific event happens. So I am going to tell you how you can connect Instamojo inside Pabli Connect with the help of webhook URL so that you will be able to send the data from Instamojo to any other application. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which allows us to connect different applications without any coding or programming skills to automate our task. So here after coming on the home page we can find two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I am already an existing user, I am clicking on sign in. This is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now, to create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So, let's click on access now. And it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. As we have done that, a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. So I have given the name how to set up webhook inside Instamojo. So after giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I have already created a folder with the name as Instamojo Automations. I'm going to select that and now let's click on create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So, Pabli Connect works on these two principles, trigger and action, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So, basically, these two are the main concepts or the main principles on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So, whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. They Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So let's suppose I want to add the details of the transactions happen in Instamojo in my Google Sheets. So for that, I'm going to select Instamojo in trigger and Google Sheets in my action. And my objective is that whenever a new sale will be made in Instamojo and the payment will be received, automatically the details of that same transaction should be added in Google Sheets to create a record. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the sale is made in Instamojo, then only the record is created in Google Sheets, otherwise no. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application. So because our objective is to create a connection between Instamojo and Pabli Connect. So here our trigger application will be Instamojo. So let's select that. And now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new sale will be our trigger event over here because we want that whenever a sale will be made in Instamojo, the response should be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So as we have selected our trigger application and the event, the webhook URL is provided to us. So this is a unique webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge to connect Instamojo with Pabli Connect. And here we can see that the instructions are also provided to us which we have to follow very carefully to connect our Instamojo account with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So it is given that first of all we have to log into our Instamojo account. Then we have to select the product which we want to set with webhook. Then we have to move towards the advanced settings over there and then we have to paste this webhook URL in the webhook URL field. Now first of all I am going to take you towards my Instamojo account and we are on the dashboard of Instamojo. Now from the left side we will find the option of products. So we will go towards all products section. And these are all the products which I have in Instamojo. So now, whichever product you want to connect with Pabli Connect, you have to select that product. Let's suppose I want to connect this Java ebook. So I'm going to select this product. And after selecting the product, we will find the option of advanced. So let's select that. When we will do that, it is going to take us towards the webhook URL section. Now in this field of webhook URL, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to remove this existing URL from here. And we will paste the URL which we have already copied just now. Okay, so after pasting this webhook URL, we have to click on save. 
and as we have done that we can see that our webbook is updated successfully now this java ebook is successfully connected with fably connect we will move back towards fably connect and here it is showing waiting for webbook response this means that now we have to do a test submission so how we are going to do that for that we have to make the payment for the java ebook which we have recently connected with fably connect and as soon as we will do that the response will be captured automatically in fably connect okay so i'm going to open this java ebook once again and i'm going to click on this view on store option so this is the checkout page of java ebook we have already connected java ebook with fably connect so just make the test payment so i'm going to click on buy now and here i'm going to enter the details in order to make the payment and because i'm doing a test submission just to capture the response therefore i'm going to enter all the dummy details over here let's start with the name so let's say the name of the customer who is making the order is test customer now i'm going to enter the email id okay and after entering the email id i'm going to enter the phone number a random phone number Okay now let's click on review and pay and I'm going to make the payment over here. So here are the options of making the payment. I'm going to select this UPI option and I'm going to make the payment with the help of UPI. And here I have made the payment and we can see that the order is placed. Our payment is successful. As soon as we have placed this order, let's go back towards Pabli Connect and here we can see that yes, we have received the response automatically. So in the response, we have received all the details. This is the status equal to credit. That means we have received the payment. This is the purpose. This is the payment request ID payment id okay url that means the payment link with the help of which we have received this payment the currency inr phone number name and the email address of the buyer and this is the amount which he has paid so this means that our connection between insta mojo and public connect is successful so in this way we have to set up the webbook inside insta mojo to connect it in trigger okay so as we have made the connection i'm going to take you back towards insta mojo and we can set this connection for even smart pages now if you want to connect a particular page with public connect then what you are going to do Okay, so these are all my pages. These are my smart pages. Let's suppose I want to connect this tech course page with Pabli Connect. For that, we have to go towards the page. We will click on this three dots. And then we are going to click on this edit page button. As we will do that, when we will scroll down on this page, we will find the option of web books. Okay, so here in this field, you can paste the URL which we have received from Pabli Connect to receive the response. So I will simply delete this existing URL from here in this field. And I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect. I will copy the URL and paste it over here. Now, when we are going to click on save and update, so this smart page with the name as tech course is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now, whenever the payment will be received on this smart page, the response of that payment will be automatically captured in Pabli Connect. In the same manner, you can connect your smart page with Pabli Connect with the help of webbook URL. Okay, so now as we have learned how we can connect Insta Mojo with Pabli Connect with the help of webbook. So let's move forward. Let's suppose I want to add all these details which we have received from Insta Mojo to my Google Sheets. For that, we have to connect Google Sheets in our action. So let's move towards our action step. And in our action application, here I'm going to select Google Sheets. Okay. Now we have to select the action event, which will be add new row. So because I want that whenever a new sale will be made in Insta Mojo, automatically a new row should be added in my Google Sheets along with all the details of the transaction. Okay. Now let's click on connect. And because I've already built a connection with my Google Sheets, I'm going to go with existing connection. But to create a new connection, you can go for add new connection. And then you have to click on this sign in with Google. As you will click on save, your connection will be successful. Now I'm going to click on save over here. And with this, my Google Sheets is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now after building the connection, connection we have to move forward and we have to enter all the details over here first of all we have to select the spreadsheet name so the name of my spreadsheet is insta mojo transaction details so this is my spreadsheet it contains five columns a b c d and e column a contains payment status column b contains the name of the customer column c contains email and here we have column d as phone number and then in the last we have column e for the amount so in this way in the systematic format i want to add all the details of the insta mojo transactions in the form of a new row in my spreadsheet okay for that first of all we have to select this name of the spreadsheet here in Pabli connect so let's do that and we can find that my spreadsheet is already selected over here with the correct name okay you have to select your spreadsheet from the drop down and then you have to select the sheet name so my sheet name is also selected as i've only created sheet one over here now the next is payment status customer's name email phone number and the amount so one by one we have to enter all the details now because we have already received all these details from insta mojo therefore we will simply use mapping over here mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map first of all the payment status here we have received the payment status let's select that and it is mapped so currently the payment status is credit. Now before moving forward, let me tell you that when we have mapped this data, it has become dynamic. 
that means with each and every new response now it is going to be replaced so whenever a new response will be captured from insta mojo automatically the status is going to be replaced with a new status of that new transaction in this particular field but if we enter any data manually by typing or by copy and pasting then that data becomes static and then it is not going to change with each and every new response therefore to automate the entire process we use mapping okay so now we have to map the customer's name we have done that in the same manner we will map the email address and here is the phone number at last we have to map the amount which we have received so in this way we have mapped all the details and because we have mapped all these details now we have automated the process of adding all the details of insta mojo payments in google sheets so let's click on save and send test request button and here we can see that we have received the response so let's go and check whether automatically the data is added in google sheets or not and yes here we can find that automatically in a very systematic format the data is added in a new row this is the payment status customer's name email phone number and the amount this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine so after building the connection between insta mojo and google sheets let's check whether the workflow is running fine or not so i'm going to go back towards insta mojo and and here i'm going to once again go towards product section and i'm going to once again purchase this ebook so i'm going to open this in store and now i'm going to enter all the details in these particular fields so that the payment could be made Let's so i have entered all the details this time the name of the customer is smart user this is the email address and this is the phone number now i'm going to make the payment and as soon as we have made the payment the order is successful so as soon as the order is placed let's go and check whether automatically the details are added in google sheets or not and yes here we can see that automatically all the new details are added in google sheets in the systematic format in a new row this means that our workflow is perfectly fine so we have successfully built a connection between insta mojo and google sheets so in this video i have told you that how you can set up webhook inside insta mojo to connect it with babli connect and how you can very easily send the data from insta mojo to any other application with the help of webhook url so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications with without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.